Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. I am very excited to share this haul with you guys. Um, as most of you who've watched me for a while know, I'm not the biggest fan of estate sales that are run by you know actual estate sale companies. I've gone to a few family-run estate sales where I've done phenomenally, uh, but as far as the ones that are run by companies, not so much. Especially here in New Jersey, I've seen all kinds of hauls from other places around the country where uh, the estate sale companies have great prices or they run great last day you know, discounts or bag sales and stuff like that. You don't find a lot of that here. Uh, a lot of them are overpriced to begin with and when they do do discounts on the last day, they tend not to be the greatest. So I don't really go to a lot of estate sales, but this particular one uh, I went to for a few reasons. Number one, it was only 20 minutes from my house. Uh, number two, it's July and there's not really much going on as far as garage sales and rummage sales in July. It's usually too hot. Uh, or as far as rummage sales go, you know, they don't usually have a lot of staff because people are, you know, away for the summer or whatever. Uh, so I try and, you know, do what I can in July and suck it up and do some estate sales or, you know, I'll go to the thrift store. Uh, number three, I saw their uh, pictures on their website. They had about 250 pictures and f I saw about five or six things that could have been potentially profitable if the price was right. Uh, and the last reason I went, and probably the most important reason, was because they said that this lady was a crafter. And I know that a lot of times um, estate sales, rummage sales, and estate sales undervalue uh, craft supplies. So I got there at almost 8 30 it started at 9 30 and I was fifth in line when I went in uh, I kind of ran from room to room trying to find the things that I had seen in the pictures uh, purchased one out of the five the other four were incredibly high priced and then I didn't think I was gonna find much more but I stuck it out I was persistent and I found a whole bunch of things that were under their radar. They had no idea what they had. And this place was a little gold mine. So I am going to now put my camera on the tripod because I have to show you some of these things in a little bit more detail. And I need both hands to do it. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so here we go with the haul. The first thing that I have to show you is one of the items that I initially went there looking for I kind of quickly ran around the house and scanned all the rooms trying to find the things that I saw in the pictures that I was interested in um, the vast majority of which were way overpriced but this was the one thing that was priced well so I decided to pick it up this is a brother P-Touch PT2030 label maker brand spanking new in the box I paid 10 for it and it sells pretty consistently on eBay for around 65 to 80 plus shipping. So I was already in a good mood because I found that. Uh, then I went and scanned the rest of the rooms. And like I said, I was like dancing out of that house when I left. I spent a total of $85 at this sale. Um, I went to every room and the one room that I was kind of hesitant about was the garage. Only because when I first opened the door and I looked in, I didn't see anything really promising. It just looked like a bunch of tools and um, household cleaning stuff and gardening stuff and I figured, ugh, why bother? But I went in and took a quick look and I'm very happy that I did because for some reason, who knows why this was in the garage. I found this. This is a Revo hairstyler. 
I've sold these two or three times in the past. It's one of those as seen on TV items that really took off and people still to this day clamor for. Uh, you know, kind of like the Floby, I guess. <laughs> um, this one is brand new. It does have a, a videotape instead of a DVD, but that's okay. It will still make about 100 to 125 and this cost me 10 bucks. So after I scanned all the rooms, I went back to take a closer look, especially at the ones upstairs, because uh, I think three out of the four bedrooms had craft supplies in them. And when I initially looked through them, I didn't really see anything exciting but like I said I had only glanced but I went back into each room and really really looked and found a whole bunch of stuff that was flying under their radar and they had no idea what things were worth uh, in one room they had a whole bunch of knitting needles and most of them were in cases and sold as sets and when I first looked through them I was like eh, you know maybe maybe not because no nothing had prices on it and then I took a closer look and looked a few things up on my phone and I said okay we're definitely looking at the knitting and crochet hook sets absolutely this was the first one I picked up this is a boy I think that's how you say it. is it boy or boy a I don't know um, it feels like, I'm not sure if it's leather, if it's imitation leather, but it was in this case and has these beautiful wooden and nickel crochet hooks in all different sizes. And it has the, um, you know, whatever these things are called that you can hook them up to, I can't remember. And, you know, the little adapters and all that kind of stuff and the markers and whatever. I looked it up online, it looked complete. These are selling brand new on Amazon, I think for around 30 to 40. So I think I can get about 25 to 30 out of this. Um, and when I went downstairs and I asked her what the price was on this, she opened it up and she looked at it. And she's like, oh, well those are nice because they're wood. So I have to charge you 10 for those. I'm like. Okay, I'll pay 10 for those. But then when I took those downstairs, I also took this set downstairs. And this set was surprising to me. It didn't look like much. I'll move all this stuff over. This was all the stuff that was tucked into all the pockets. When I first looked at it, it just looked like a simple, cute little knitting needle holder and it has this name on it that says Haya Haya. I think that's how you say it. And opened it up, saw that it had all these needle interchangeable needles in it. I thought that it was incomplete because they weren't, you know, these slots weren't filled, but it's not. It had 13, it's supposed to have 13 sets of needles. It does. And then I checked, uh, for accessories and it has all these adapters and it's this adorable cute little pair of scissors. How cute are those? And you know all these little doodads that go with it. These cute little panda bear shaped stoppers. Is that what they are? I don't know you guys. I don't really knit. Um, the needles and these pins. I went on Amazon and I almost fell over because this set complete, which this one is, goes for around 175. Uh, so I definitely put that in my pile, went downstairs and after she priced the crochet hooks, she looked at these, which like I said, did not look fancy at all. And she's like, yeah, you know, you can only, uh, I'll take five for those. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> so on eBay, I should be able to get, 
because they're used maybe, um, I'm going to say maybe 125. So continuing with the interchangeable knitting needle theme, in one of the other bedrooms on a bookshelf, which I initially thought was a book, I found this box that said Knitter's Pride Royale, the luxury collection. Opened it up and found some more really nice interchangeable needles. Unfortunately, it's not complete, but I don't care. It has some more accessories in the bottom. There's a matching bag and all these things down here. I think, whoops, drop one on the floor. I think if this was complete, this goes for, I think around like the $75 range. So I'm going to say, I'm going to hope to get maybe around 40 since it's incomplete. But this cost me, this also cost me 10. And then there's one more set, well, actually two sets, but they all came in one bag, so she counted them as one set. There's two sets in this needle holder. They weren't as organized as this when I opened it up. When I opened it up, needles fell all over the place. So I just kind of stuffed them all back in, went downstairs, asked her how much, and she told me $10. I'm like, okay. So this set is a Susan Bates set. And the only reason that I know that is because the instructions are in here. This lady like kept everything, which is fabulous. Yeah. These are Susan Bates Circlon Circular Needle Gift Set. Uh, it says 24 needle heads. I have 24 needle heads. Um, don't know if I have five cables. I think I have at least two, but I might be able to find a few more floating around somewhere. Um, but anyway, I can't find this set anywhere. I have looked and looked and looked. I can't find it. But I'm hoping since I have all the needles that I should be able to get maybe 30 to 40 on that one. And then the other one that was in there was this Denise Interchangeable Knitting Needle Set. And this was the reason that I picked this up was because I saw these uh, Denise needles. I picked this set up because about two months prior to me going to this estate sale, I had found this set of interchangeable needles for free on the sidewalk during a townwide sale. I opened it up, they weren't complete, which is not great. Uh, I think complete, this set sells for around 30 to 40. So I figured, well, I'll hold on to it. Maybe someday I'll find some more interchangeable knitting needles. Knitting needles. And you know, fast forward to yesterday, and I did. And this set, for the most part, is complete. But it's definitely complete if you add this one in. So it's actually one whole set plus a little bit more. Um, definitely think I can get at least 40. And um, there's also one other one in here, which is really nice with this. With these wood needle tips. I don't know who makes this one. I thought maybe it went in the other set that I just showed you, but it doesn't. So I'll either sell this with the Bates set or the Denise set. But definitely keep your eyes out for interchangeable knitting needle needles. I had no idea that some of them could be worth so much money. But it's definitely one of those things to look out for. Okay, the next thing that I found was again in one of the bedrooms. They were shoved in a box all together on top of a filing cabinet with a bunch of garage sale signs in front of them. Again, like the ones that you stick in the ground and they were sitting in front of them. So I pulled the garage sale signs out and found some buried treasure. I found five needlepoint canvases. 
and hand painted needlepoint canvases can go for enormous amounts of money. I still to this day do not know why, but they do. Um, even brand new, they sell for crazy amounts of money. It's not just because they're discontinued or anything. They, they normally sell for a lot. So I took all five of these downstairs. Some are started, some aren't. Um, some have the thread, some don't. But that's, it doesn't matter. And she said 15 for all of them. I went, oh, yes, 15, done. Oh, the first one that I want to show you guys is this one. This is a Carousel Lion ornament needlepoint. This one is by Joan Thomason. I've bought her stuff in the past. I sold two angels of hers. I uh, bought each one of those kits for a dollar a piece last year. Last year or the year before. This whole past year is a blur, um, obviously. But um, I believe I sold each one of those for 30 to 40 a piece. This one I can't find anywhere. And even though it has been started, it still has everything that you need to complete it. So I should not have a problem getting at least 30. I'm thinking 30 to 40 on this. I'll probably put this one up for auction since I can't find it anywhere. Then there's this little petty point fan with the cherry blossom. It's really pretty. Um, this one I'll probably also put up for auction maybe about thinking at least 25 to 30 on that. Maybe a little more, who knows. And this one is from Lee. This is a ladybug, but if you look close, it has these little lines in it, so I guess there would be like a probably gold metallic thread that would run through that. And there's a bunch of these on eBay. The prices are all over the place, anywhere from I think 55 to 80. So I might price mine a little below that, maybe like 45 and see where it goes. But as you guys can see, the original price on this was $55. That's crazy. <laughs> I just don't understand it. Um, the next one I got was this wonky looking thing. And I didn't really know what it was at first. I had to do a little bit of research. Looks very kind of, you know, late 80s early 90s but fortunately it had this picture with it and right down here it says patty man designs beanbag frame it says it's a beanbag frame but then there's this whole little I guess this is the beanbag part with the picture frame but I don't know where this this fabric part wasn't with it I don't know if it initially comes with it, but I've seen this on eBay, but it was just by itself. Um, but fortunately, the little picture frame part does come with it, and you can stitch it onto this needlepoint canvas if you want. So I'm probably going to ask around 75 for this and see where that goes. And then the best one of the lot was this one that's already on a scroll. I might take it off, I'm not sure, because it's much easier to ship without it being on this stretcher. Um, but as soon as I saw it, I, I just loved the design. I knew that it would go for a decent amount, even if I didn't know who made it. But uh, a small portion of it's been started right here. That's no big deal. All the floss to go with it is here which is great and then I also noticed when I got home that right here you guys can see this it says Alice Peterson Alice Peterson is a very very popular needlepoint designer uh, and I did find this design which is called patchwork collage I think this is patchwork collage one there's a few in this series but this one in particular sells uh, brand new without any floss or anything on a needlepoint website for $232. And in the Patchwork Collage 2 recently sold on eBay, just the canvas, not anything with it, for 200
So I'll definitely probably, whoops, definitely be putting this one for auction, up for auction, probably starting at around 200, and we'll see if we get any bites. So then finally, in one of the back bedrooms, since this, since this woman was an avid knitter and crocheter and all that, obviously she had yarn. And in the one room, there were two or three totes full of yarn. And a lot of people overlook yarn, but, um, you know, because a lot of the stuff that you get in, you know, Michael's or Hobby Lobby or any of that, a lot of that is, you know, very affordable. There is a lot of high-end yarn out there that people tend to overlook at some of these sales. And, oh, Jesus, what am I doing today? Sorry, guys. <laughs> and there was definitely some of that at this particular estate sale. Uh, I found 11 skeins of this merino wool yarn. This is called Naturally by Am Amuri. This has been discontinued. The only place that I can find this actually for sale right now is in Canada for $22.95 a skein and that converts to US price to I think around $18-$19. Um, and since it's retired, obviously it's very hard to come by. So 11 skeins of this, I'm thinking at least 100, maybe a little more. But very excited to find this. And this was only a dollar a skein, you guys, which is crazy. But the best and most surprising thing that I found at this estate sale was also in one of those big yarn totes sitting towards the back under a bunch of skeins of yarn. And I went digging, and I'm so happy I did because I pulled out this amazing um throw kit this is the absolutely fabulous throw kit this is by colonet yarn colonet yarn if you find it out in the wild just by itself i'm not talking about in a kit buy it buy it buy it if the price is right because it goes for crazy good prices on ebay um as you can see the original price of this was 179 dollars it has amazing yarn in it in this gorgeous purple color. All the instructions are here. This colorway is called Amethyst and it has directions for you to make this throw in any of these four different styles, whichever one that you pick. I looked this up on eBay and almost passed out in the bedroom <laughs> because these sold prices on these kits are anywhere from consistently from $350 to $450. I could not even believe it. Uh, so I took this downstairs with all my skeins of wool yarn and she counted up the yarn and she's like, okay, 11 skeins. And she looked at this. And she's like, okay, well for all, all 11 skeins in this, how about $15? <laughs> like done. So, for everything, like I said, I paid 85 bucks, and I can probably, gross profit, make around thirteen to $1,500 off of everything that I've showed you guys today, um, off of, what, a dozen items? Best estate sale I've ever been to. Um, it's still going on through tomorrow, so tomorrow morning I might take another ride over there, since they'll probably discount. I think this company discounts on the last day. Uh, I might take one more ride over and check one more time to see if there's any hidden gems that I might have overlooked. But all in all, I could not be happier with all the things that I found. So guys, keep your eyes out for those craft items, the interchangeable knitting needles, the needle point canvases, the skeins of yarn, all of it. Just keep your eyes peeled because they will pay off. Uh, all right, so that's it guys. Um, I do have many more videos to upload and share with you. They're going to come up in like random order. They really are, but I know you guys don't care about that. Um, I just hit another, let's see, I went to a rummage sale and a, an estate sale 
and like maybe only three or four garage sales last weekend and I killed it that weekend too which is surprising for July uh, there's not usually rummage sales in July but I went all the way up to North Jersey right outside in Newark the ride was horrible but it turned out to be a great sale and then I found two things on a Sunday estate sale that I didn't even know was going on until I think Saturday night and what else oh and the garage sales I found maybe I think three or four ten dollar items that are worth hundreds so very happy with my July so far so that one will be coming soon also so thanks everybody for watching and I you know I'm always supposed to say if you like this video give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe and all that stuff and I always 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 forget to say it so I'm gonna say it now so like and subscribe guys and I will see you in the next video